Good afternoon, everybody. My name is uh, Victor Palkin, and I'm a customer engineer at Google Cloud. I provide technical expertise for customers around Europe, how they can make uh, the best of their SAP environments integrated with Google Cloud services, and how in the end they can become data-driven companies with the power of Google data innovation, with Google uh, AI and ML capabilities, and the core of their business processes, the core of their enterprises, the data that they have in their SAP environments. For many customers, SAP is uh, the core data producer and the core transactional uh, data collector that uh, enables them to do uh, their business right and to do their business efficiently in um, tens of different uh, industries and areas. So if we take, for example, customers like uh, ATB Financial, SAP is the core where they collect the information about all their customers, their financial transactions, uh, their uh, usage, and then all the financials they do there. Similarly, we have uh, hundreds of uh, retail customers like uh, Home Depot, when every operation, every transaction that is happening in their points of sales, in their hypermarket stores, it is stored in their SAP environment and being processed there. And on the other side, Google is the data company by its DNA. Google is an AI company by its DNA. We have AI capabilities built in into every Google Cloud product uh, that we release uh, customer facing. So you might be familiar with Gmail and its capabilities to do smart reply. You maybe using Google Photos and its capabilities to uh, recognize uh, faces on the images automatically, which means that we at Google Cloud know how to process terabytes and petabytes of data in the growing data world and know how to get insight, uh, of, uh, insights from there as efficiently as possible. And through Google Cloud, uh, we expose these uh, possibilities to our customers. So let's, for example, go back to the Home Depot example. So what they do, as I was saying, they are collecting all the data about all their customers and uh, transactions they have in their stores, including inventory, uh, including their supply chain. And with the power of AI and ML, that we provide to them, they integrate their SAP backends with the Google Cloud data platform. And by doing this, they apply the algorithms to improve the, and predict the stockouts on their shelves. So when a certain product will be out of stock. And by then, they can predict when they need to order additional supply to their market. And by this, they improve the supply chain analytics performance and also they save tens of millions of dollars uh, in stockout uh, supports so that when a person comes to their store, we can be sure that uh, they can buy what they want. Similar thing we can tell about ATB Financial, right? So they also use SAP Financial module to uh, track their financial transactions and to do the financial reconciliation, uh, to do churn predictions for their customers, to do uh, uh, fraud detection, and they are delivering this also through the power of uh, Google Data Platform and BigQuery and integration with the SAP backends. And there are hundreds and hundreds of examples like this where we at Google try to help uh, and help our customers to deliver uh, more data, uh, more value from their data. So first of all, with the help of our tools like BigQuery, like Vertex AI, we help customers to break down uh, the silos across applications when they might use SAP for their, uh, as their financial and customer system. They might use Salesforce as their CRM environment. They might use Workday for uh, HR capabilities. They might have data across different clouds. They might have data across different teams. And with the data platform on Google, we help them to unlock this enterprise data to bring this all together so that in the end they can get actionable insight and uh, finally get business outcomes like with the Home Depot to save money on their uh, possible uh, stockouts. Right. And when we think and when our engineering was thinking about these examples, about these customers uh, who were implementing these innovation use cases with the help of our partners like DevoTeam, 
our engineering was always thinking how we can accelerate this innovation, right? how we can make sure that customers can bring this value and can bring these savings as fast as possible. And this is what was driving the uh, delivery of the new solution that we released a uh, little bit uh, more than a half a year ago, which is Google Cloud Cortex Framework. So we already have our technology building blocks, right, that you might already heard about in different sessions during today, like BigQuery, which is the data warehouse leader, and uh, petabyte scale, completely serverless uh, database that allows to very efficiently uh, and uh, uh, without breaking the bank, store terabytes and petabytes of data and make it available for AI and machine learning uh, uh, services like Vertex AI, like AutoMail and other APIs. At Google Cloud, we already have uh, services for industry solutions, right? So for example, if you are retail customers, you can take from the shelf our recommendations AI, which allows to, in the e-commerce platform, when a customer is looking for a product, to propose other products they can, that they can add to their basket. And this is also available through our innovation experience and through our uh, data models and through our AI models that we make available. And as we already saw in the examples, a lot of customers were already doing this, but it was typically more effort, more development, more plumbing these industry solutions and technology building blocks in order to deliver the required use case. So our current approach is to accelerate this, to make this innovation repeatable and scalable, and we are doing it on three different layers. So first of all, we provide for different innovation use cases the reference architectures to simplify the work of a, a use case architect of the solution architect so that he can take the reference architecture from the shelf and apply it to the use case. Uh, but architecture is, of course, is not the only uh, bit that can help. Another bit is, of course, an additional content and deployment accelerators so that some scenarios some use cases can be took out from the shelf, delivered by Google Cloud, and deployed directly to the customer environment. And these three uh, building blocks we call Google Cloud Cortex Framework, and which allows customers to, first of all, reduce the complexity of building innovation use cases on top of their enterprise data, uh, accelerate business outcome, and serve as the launch pad and accelerator for innovation. So let's have a deeper look into what is this Cortex framework. And Cortex framework, uh, we can drill it down by three different stages. So first thing and, uh, that uh, needs to be done is, of course, to make the data across different applications and across different teams available for analysis, for processing, and for uh, uh, building of intelligent solutions. And in order to do this, this data needs to be replicated. And of course, many different uh, data warehouses, hyperscalers, they can also uh, showcase these data integration scenarios when data is replicated from the enterprise data sources like SAP into their data warehouse. But in case of Google, we are the only cloud provider that can currently deliver the real-time data replication from the SAP backends like S4HANA, like ECC, directly to BigQuery. And this data in real time with millisecond latency is immediately available for processing and immediately available for analytics and building the innovative solutions. As soon as the data is there, there comes another challenge that customers are typically facing and that we are accelerating the solution for. The SAP data model, as you might know, is extremely complicated and for any particular business process, it can contain uh, hundreds of different tables with hundreds of different fields. All of them would have some unreadable uh, German abbreviations of, uh, uh, of the logic behind and you have to be a very experienced SAP consultant in order to understand what the data model is. 
And for us, it is very important so that uh, customers and data engineers and data analytics specialists on the customer who understand the modern cloud data warehouses, they could also work with this SAP data. And therefore, we deliver this data foundation, which are uh, translated semantic and reporting views that understand out of the box the SAP data model and make the data available and repeatable across uh, different use cases and ready for consumption. And last part, but not least, but the most important is, of course, the solution. So this is what we are building it all for. So that, first of all, we, as Google, pre-deliver repeatable innovation use cases uh, to our customers, but also our partners uh, could build these repeatable uh, cases on top of the data foundation. And in order to achieve this, we release and what's mostly important, we release it for free, a large set of different Cortex content that is available to be deployed directly on our data platform. So first of all, it includes predefined data models so that we add semantics, we flatten out hierarchies, we take care of change data capture for SAP data so that all this work that was typically done by uh, many different uh, data engineers and all this data preparation work is not needed anymore. We also provide sample machine learning templates. So I was already saying that we have customers who are using, for example, recommendations AI to deliver recommend uh, product recommendations to their e-commerce platform. Now you can use a Cortex framework in order to bring SAP data about the sales that you did, uh, about sales order and sales order items and automatically out of the box, take these best practice uh, machine learning models and apply them to your use case. We also deliver the APIs and examples and templates to expose the results of these machine learnings for, to consume them through the application layer so that you can easily deploy and build the applications on top of Cortex. And application layer includes different templates with the applications that expose the results of the Cortex framework. So for example, expose the transparency for your inventory for synchronous and asynchronous consumption uh, by your application. So one use case is the one simple use case that we can think about is for example, when customers would have their uh, warehouse management system on SAP, they would have the customer activity incoming from their own internal system. They can combine this data together, bring this data together on top of Google Cloud, and then expose it to their application for their warehouse workers. But data foundation is of course important. But what's most important are the solutions that we are building and pre-delivering to customers so that they can be used directly out of the box, but also they can be used as templates for your own future innovations. So this includes, for example, uh, templates for dashboards for financial analytics so that, for example, customers could answer the question regarding the outstanding unpaid sales or the to cash analytics where, for example, customers could answer the question, are there uh, still uh, uh, non-transport pricing or what is my sales performance? But also specific industry solutions where I would like to focus on one example, which is demand sensing. So as we think about, if we think about uh, how currently customers predict their sales and their demand, Typically, this is based on the historical data of their sales directly on their SAP backends. But history of the sales, especially nowadays, does not always reflect how it would go in the future, right? And you need to think about what are other uh, factors that might pitch, in to the, might, might pitch in to the customer demand for certain products. So for example, if we take uh, one customer that we have that sells garden furniture. So whether 
and weather forecasting might uh, give us some uh, information regarding how much garden furniture they would sell. Customers would use Google Ads and Google Marketing uh, Platform in order to advertise their products and then the uh, future promotional campaigns might also affect demand. Similarly, uh, we might predict and uh, track the customer interest in certain topics. And this is the data that we expose in BigQuery directly via the Google Trends. So in the end, we can combine all this data together with the sales order data from SAP, with the information what was sold historically. And then first of all, we can find the correlation, for example, between sales of a certain product like lemonade or garden furniture uh, and the weather on BigQuery uh, to see how efficient our promotion campaigns Right? And do they really affect the demand? And then use weather forecasting, trends forecasting, and uh, our future promotional campaigns to more precisely predict the demand so that we can plan our supply chain more efficiently. And this is what, for example, demand sensing is all about. Another example is the delivery risk that helps to understand based on the data from maps and the traffic uh, on supply chain disruptions that are currently more and more uh, often uh, combine this data with the uh, data that uh, regarding the deliveries and outstanding deliveries that uh, customers would have in SAP and then predict if there is a risk of failed delivery or that the product is not delivered on time so that we can improve our supply chain or so that uh, uh, at least we can notify the customer regarding this delivery risk. This, what's important is that these solutions, uh, example solutions, deploy solutions, all this content is delivered for free on top of the uh, products uh, of Google Cloud products and services that everybody already love and uh, use throughout the board. So all the Google data, uh, Cloud, uh, Cortex uh, data foundation is built on BigQuery. The, then uh, the applications and use cases, they are uh, containerized applications that can be easily deployed from the marketplace directly on GKE into the customer environment. And then customers can, easy, uh, can uh, either connect their own BI tool as the analytics to consume the data from there or they can also take benefit from the Looker dashboard templates that we also deliver for free through the Looker marketplace. What's important is that uh, this data foundation is delivered not only for free, but also open source. So feel, uh, feel free to go by the link that is supplied here on the GitHub and you can check the code, you can check the data foundation, you can check the views that are available uh, and what kind of work the Cortex Data Foundation would reuse from you and from your data engineers uh, when you implement it. Thank you for your time and I'm open for questions. No. Then just thank you. Uh, please learn more on the Cortex uh, uh, website and uh, feel free to try on your own and apply to your own environment.